For more on how Halston's trying to reinvent itself, we're joined live by the CEO, Bonnie Takar. Thank you for coming in studio. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, Halston, as a designer, it, he was an icon, but he was almost a man ahead of his times, right? Because he was a luxury designer who tried to go mass market maybe a little too soon, put his products in JCPenney, he licensed his names, and because of that, it was viewed as dilutive to the brand. But it's something that's, you know, commonplace these days. Why did you think that there was a, a second life for the brand? It's an American iconic brand. It really is the Chanel of America and there's so much equity in this brand to be brought back to the people and it had been out of the market for a good period of time and all of the licenses that had been created uh, when he was alive and were in the products were in the marketplace had all dissipated so the timing was really right and there was just such an emotional connection um, from the consumer to the brand that we thought that it had a lot of potential. A lot of potential and a lot of big name backers. Uh, you're involved, you have an equity stake, Harvey Weinstein, who's known for his film work. Hilco, um, which is one of the largest retail liquidators, also have a stake here, Tamara Mellon. But this was all back in 2007 when the brand was purchased for what, $25 million, I believe. Around that. Uh, what traction has there been since then? Well, we have actually, we launched with our mainline collection, women's ready-to-wear footwear and bags. And since then, we've also launched our Holston Heritage line, which is a more affordable, accessible collection, which is inspired by the archives. So the positioning of the two lines as one is retrospective looking and really bringing back to life all the great designs of the 70s and the main line which is um, designed by Mario Schwab is the innovative part of the collection and this and the plan is for that collection to move the house forward. Now, when the line, the first line came out, I know a number of retailers bought it sight unseen, uh, in part because of you know what known entities you and your colleagues are uh, for throwing your weight behind it. Where can you purchase the main line and where can you purchase the heritage line now? Currently, we're, the main line is available in 50 distribution points worldwide and Holston Heritage is available in 650 distribution points worldwide. Um, and that is, uh, the, the distribution landscape is across the globe. The main line currently is more available internationally and the heritage line is about 50% North America and 50% international. Why do you see that difference between what can sell internationally and what can sell domestically? This heritage line is a lower, more accessible price yes. point. Yes. Was that a recognition on your part that higher end line wouldn't sell here in the United States? No, I think it was a question of, of, of timing as well. 